Praise the Lord. It's going to rain. For me. For you. For everyone in Jesus name. Here in River State. I welcome you. All the states of Nigeria. I welcome everyone. And in all the nations of Africa, Europe, Americas, Asia, everywhere, I welcome you to a spectacular time in Jesus' name. It's like we're riding bicycles and then we got to the first place. Now we change, we moved on to a motorcycle. And then we ran faster. And now we got a car. Then we got a boat. Now we've got aeroplane. And we fly into these showers of blessing. Everyone, everywhere, showers upon your life in Jesus' name. There'll be salvation. There'll be healing. There'll be deliverances. There'll be miracles. The spectacular will take place in your life in Jesus' name. Candidate for miracle, where are you? Father, in Jesus' name. We well, thank you at this time and bless your name. We know you prepared showers of blessings for everyone and anyone here as we come. We pray nobody will go back empty-handed in Jesus' name. Individuals, families, churches, everywhere, all nations, online, physical, showers upon everyone. Confirm your power and your miracle in every life. We thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. We will see. We will hear. We will experience. Nobody will be left behind. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. That sentence you have been hearing many times, many years. There shall be showers of blessing. Did you know it is from the Bible? It's a promise of God. It's a prophetic word the Lord has preserved for us. It's in Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 26. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 26. And I will make them. And the places round the about my heel, a blessing. I thought you'll say amen. And I will cause the shower to come down in its season. There shall be showers of blessing. That's the promise of God. He said, I will. And when God says he will do something, it will be done. And when he makes a promise like that, it's a promise for every hour. A promise for every place. A promise for every person. And it's a promise in particular for you. There shall be showers of blessing. Now, as you join that with Hebrews chapter 13, reading from verse 8, it says, Jesus Christ. The same yesterday and today and forever. That is, when the Lord said, there shall be showers of blessing. The people were waiting. They were waiting for the Messiah. They were waiting for the Savior. They were waiting for the Redeemer. There shall be. And when Christ came, then the showers began to fall. And miracles began to happen in unprecedented manners. And the people that had understanding, they woke up. Here is what God said. There shall be showers of blessing. There shall be at that time of Ezekiel. 
it was future. I will. I will make the clouds. I will send the rain. I will do wonders among the people. And now, even though it was future at that time, Christ came. And when Christ came, and then he began to move in all the towns and villages and communities and to everyone in the land, then the reality and the fulfillment of those showers began to be fulfilled in their midst. And every day, anyone meeting Christ, as we are meeting Christ tonight, any time Christ gave an invitation, as he's giving invitation to you tonight, any time Christ touched anyone, as he's touching you tonight, the showers began to fall on them from heaven. And now Christ has gone to heaven. And it's over there. And it's now pouring the blessings down and the showers down on everyone. It's still the same. Tonight, I'm talking to you on showers of blessing from the unchangeable Christ. Unchangeable Christ, the Savior. Unchangeable Christ, the miracle worker. Unchangeable Christ, the healer. Unchangeable Christ, the deliverer, and is coming from Him. Now, we're going to do something very simple for you to remember and for you to know what the Lord is going to do in your life. That word showers, showers of blessing, showers, S is for salvation. Tonight, salvation is coming your way. H is for healing. And tonight, as the rains begin to fall, and no power can send that rain back to the sky. S for salvation. H for healing. You are healed. Whatever the sickness, whatever the infirmity, healing is coming your way. I receive. O is obtainment. When something is given to you, and you are not just looking at it, you stretch your hand, you grab that thing, you receive that thing, you obtain. And what you obtain is what you receive. What you receive is what you experience. And that thing you receive, that thing you obtain, that thing that becomes yours, it will be seen in your life. Tonight, I will get something. Tonight, I will obtain something. It's the part of the showers that is your personal possession. Double you. Is wonders. Somebody help me shout wonders there. Shout it as if you have it now. Wonders. Wonders will come your way. The wonder of salvation. The wonder of healing. The wonder of deliverance. The wonder of blind eyes being opened. And the wonders of the lame rising up and walking. And the wonder of impossibilities becoming possible in your life. Wonders. I shout wonders. He is exaltation. Christ is exalted. And then he was exalted that wherever you are and whoever you are, he will lift you up. He will exalt you. You are in the dungeon. He'll dig you up from there. You are in the valley. He'll dig you up from there. It's part of the showers. The showers that come without an exhortation. Then that shower will not be complete. But showers will be complete in your life tonight. R is restoration. Restoration. Restoration from heaven. 
restoration by heaven restoration to restore you to everything adam and eve lost everything that you have lost in your life there is restoration tonight restoration and then s is supernatural supply supernatural supply the showers salvation healing obtainment wonders exaltation restoration supernatural supply those are the three points i bring to you tonight we're going to go into the message now number one and here are things coming your way here are things you are going to possess and when we call and we say you want this you want this where are you immediately you respond so that heaven will know that this is what you are looking for you will get something tonight yes salvation for all accused men salvation for all accused men look at romans chapter 3 and i'm reading from verse 9 romans chapter 3 verse 9 what then are we better than they are we jews better than the gentiles are we men better than the women are we parents better than the children are we wives better than the blacks are we colored people better than the wise are we better in any nation there are people who are making comparison that this is better than that as we consider individuals is asking us the question are you better than the other one other people are devils and you are the angel other people are sinners and you are the saints no in no wise you are not better than your neighbor you are not better than the other one for we have before proved both jews and gentiles that they are all under sin proved that they are all under sin that's why it says look at verse 23 there in verse 23 for all have sinned and come short of the glory of god all all that he is the jew is not better than the gentile all have sinned the church goer is not better than those who don't go to church all have sinned the young is not better than the adult all have sinned everyone everyone we carry the badge of adam with us the nature of adam with us for all have sinned and come short of the glory of god what's the solution then salvation for all accused men that salvation is coming to you today once you accept you are a sinner you accept you have seen you have you accept you are not better than other people the same bondage of sin that paralyzes other people the same bondage of sin makes you incapable unable to live right and to be righteous in the sight of the lord once you accept that then the free offer of the salvation of god will come to you tonight look at verse 24 in verse 24 it says being justified freely you cannot pay for salvation you cannot cry and shed tears that will fill the bottle that will qualify you for salvation you cannot roll on the ground a long time enough to qualify you for salvation you cannot pay money to qualify you for salvation be justified freely by his grace that grace is here tonight that grace will save you tonight the moment you stretch out your hand of faith and you say lord here am i i cannot pay for salvation here am i my good words cannot mount up to the point i will have salvation here am i all the good deeds i've done all the church going i've done cannot marriage salvation being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in christ jesus redemption in christ salvation in christ forgiveness in christ 
justification in Christ. As you come to Christ tonight, you are connected with salvation. I said, as you come to Christ tonight, you are connected with salvation. That's the reason why I normally give a call, an invitation, and I say, you are there. You want the salvation of the Lord? It's coming from heaven. It's part of the showers. Where are you? Raise up your hand. And you raise up your hand. And if whatever I tell you come out or whatever, you do that, that salvation will come to you. What am I saying? What I'm saying is this. The rain is falling. The showers are coming. You must come out and bring your bucket out. And then you will fill your cup, fill your drum, and fill your bucket to overflow in, in Jesus' name. But if the rain is falling, if the showers are coming down, and then you lock yourself in the house and you put your bucket upside down and while the rain is falling and everybody is satisfied you are there and you don't come out you'll not be part of the beneficiaries of the showers but as the rain is falling and you bring out your heart and you bring out your personality and you say yes lord the rain is falling for everyone i will be a partaker salvation will come to you your heart might have accused you the neighbors might have accused you and everyone around even the devil might have accused you as if you are the greatest sinner in the world this salvation is for all accused men that salvation will come to you christ is inviting you the savior is inviting you and as you respond is the beginning of the showers salvation for all the accused men is yours it's mine i said it's mine you will get saved in jesus name the next is age and that age in the showers coming from above that age is healing healing through his accepted message healing through his accepted message you heard about a doctor you have a challenge somebody told you about that doctor it was okay i hear but you never responded you never took action the medicine will not just come and jump on you and the injection will not just penetrate you while you are there you will come you will understand if you believe the message you are told about the healer you will take action now jesus christ is our healer jesus christ is the doctor of all doctors internally he will heal you externally he will heal you your blind eyes it will open your lame legs will rise up and walk whatever is wrong in your life tonight he'll perform that operation right there healing somebody shout healing healing through his accepted message we're looking at isaiah chapter 53 and i'm reading from verse 1 i say chapter 53 verse 1 was believed our report and to whom is the arm of the lord revealed the people who believe the message will report that christ heals he heals blind eyes he heals madness he delivers from all the torments and the attacks of Satan. He takes tumor away. He takes a near away. He's able to open even the deaf ears and the tight tongue he will lose. And then if there's anything that is no more functioning, no more working in your life tonight, he'll make that part of the body to work. If you are not hearing, you will hear 
and we say Christ is the healer of every sickness as to accept. That's why the prophet is asking the question, was believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Look at verse 4. In verse 4 it says, Surely he has borne our griefs. He's taking it away already. That's what you need to know. That all your griefs, all your suffering, all your infirmity, all the problems you have, everything is laid on Christ. Is that all the amen you have? And he has carried our sorrows. All our sorrows is taking everything away. Yet we did him. We did esteem him. Stricken. Smitten of God. And afflicted. Look at verse 5. It says, But he was wounded for our transgression. It's a substitute. All the transgression. All the sin. All the evil that we had him before he suffered on the cross of calvary to take everything away and then it says the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes were healed when you make that personal and you know with his stripes and the weeping post i am healed and you believe it in the bottom of your heart. And you know that even today, whatever the sickness, it's impossible with man. It is not impossible with God. With God, all things are possible. Your case, possible. Your healing, possible. Your deliverance, possible. Your miracle, possible. Look at Matthew chapter 8, reading from verse 16. It says in verse 16, when the evening was come, they brought unto him this Messiah. They brought unto him the Savior. They brought unto him this the healer. They brought unto him this deliverer. They brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And they cast out the devils, the spirits, with his word and healed all that were sick healed all that were sick how many people will he heal tonight he healed all he has not changed jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever he healed all that was sick why look at verse 17 that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet Isaiah the prophet the prophets only said only spoke what he got from heaven there's no lie in heaven there's no deception in heaven and there is uh, no politics hanky panky in heaven and the heavens always revealed the truth to the prophets. And the prophet Isaiah received that truth and that revelation that himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses. He will take your infirmity, your sickness, and that pain, he will take it away very easily. You'll not feel any pain I'll perform the miracle tonight in Jesus' name. First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. In First Peter chapter 2, verse 24, it says, Who his own self, his own self, his own self bear our sins in his own body, his own self in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed i am healed don't just say amen i am healed cancer will be healed tonight all the ulcer will be healed tonight 
and the brain problem will be healed tonight that thing that is swollen in your body will be healed tonight that thing that causes pain in your life tonight you are healed in jesus name s for salvation h for healing and now we have o the obtainment of abundant mercy obtainment of abundant mercy why do we need mercy because we face judgment because we've done things that will land us in prison that prison is not only 10 years 70 years 100 years that prison is going to be everlasting and it's only it's not only prison with hard labor it's prison with suffering unbearable pain and now we're seeing what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of jesus how can i be relieved from the pain of the evil that i have done there's only one way mercy the mercy of god obtainment of abundant mercy look at first timothy chapter 1 verse 13 it says who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious but i obtained mercy i couldn't come to god with merit i couldn't tell god oh god look at me i'm good i'm nice i'm pure i'm righteous because of that show me mercy say no since you say you merit it already you cannot merit mercy it's when you don't have a marriage and you say nothing in my hand i bring simply to the cross i cling rock of ages clear for me let me hide myself in thee let the water and the blood from the wounded side of flood be of sin the double kill that's when the mercy will come to you i see somebody here mercy is coming your way is the mercy of god that forgives you is the mercy of god that cancels all the punishment you should have had and now as you come and you say lord um, i don't merit it you don't merit salvation i don't merit it you don't merit forgiveness i don't merit it you don't merit a place in heaven i don't merit it i don't merit justification and joy for life and for eternity and what i do not have by marriage i'm going to have by mercy that's the shower obtainment of abundant mercy it says i was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious but i obtained mercy because i did it ignorantly in unbelief look at verse 14 in verse 14 and the grace of our lord the grace of our lord the grace of our lord in the world there's no grace you see i'm looking for work they say what's your qualification what's your certificate i don't have certificate give me the job by grace they say it doesn't happen like that you go to the bank and you want money and uh, you tell the uh, cashier there i need some money how much do you need i need uh, you know these thousands and they say do you have an account here no i don't have an account give me the money by grace they say it doesn't work like that you go to the market and you're looking for food and you say i need some food here they say yes everything is available where is uh, you know the price are you able to pay the price uh -uh. i want to get everything in the market by grace the world does not work like that only god 
works by grace. And what we do not have uh, and we want to have is only God that can provide it for us by grace. And then it says, and the grace of our Lord would exceeding abundant with faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. Tonight, every blessing of heaven you need what you cannot get from the world because the world does not operate by grace but everyone operates by grace what you need tonight you'll have it by grace in jesus name look at verse 15 in verse 15 it says this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation worthy for all to accept when you accept the grace of God, like everybody else accepts the grace of God, what he gets by grace, you will get by grace, she will get by grace, everyone will have showers of miracles tonight by grace in Jesus' name. It says, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners to save sinners to save who tell me tell me you know some people i can't get saved tonight i say why i want to turn over a new leaf become a better person before i can be saved then it's not saving sinners you've already you know saved yourself cleansed yourself you're already righteous it's not saving the self-righteous it's saving uh, sinners other people say i want to i want to do something and i want to uh, discipline myself and live a very righteous life so that when i come to christ i'll say christ look at what i've done i've made myself righteous he didn't come to save the righteous he came to save us sinners as you are there tonight and you feel the guilt of your sin and the power of your sin and your helplessness in your sin you are a candidate for salvation it will save you it will forgive you it will transfer your name from the dungeon of darkness and bring your name to life and light in jesus name here is a faithful saying and worthy of all to accept that jesus christ came into the world to save sinners of whom i am chief what does that mean Saul, who became Paul, said, I was bad, very bad, as badness could be. I was injurious, as any violent man could ever be. I was a blasphemer. I was terrible. I was the chief, the highest, the greatest, the most wicked of all sinners. If God can save me, he was saying, uh, the chief of sinners, then uh, all the other people that kill behind me, the Lord will save them. He will save you tonight. He will change your life tonight. If he could save Saul and he became Paul, there is hope for you. Tonight is the night of your salvation. I don't have to do any other thing. Christ is Savior. He came into the world to save sinners. Look at verse 16. It says in verse 16, I'll be it for this cause. I obtained mercy. Remember, you're not coming. I paid much money to the church. Uh -uh. I obtained mercy. I did good. I sent somebody to school. I gave clothes to the naked. I gave water to the, to the thirsty. That's not why you're saved. It says, I obtained mercy that in me first Jesus Christ my show forth all long suffering for a pattern what he did for me is a pattern what he did for me is a model what he did for me is an example for a pattern to them which you hereafter believe 
on him. As you believe on him tonight, eternal life will come to you. The believer on him to life everlasting. S, salvation. H, healing. O, obtainment of abundant mercy. W, what's W? I said, what's your own W there? What are you going to have tonight? Wonders. Enemies will look at you and wonder. The sickness that have been there, and that sickness is going away, he will look back and look at you. No more sickness, no more infirmity, and wonder. The evil spirit that possessed your life before, that evil spirit will come out. And as that evil spirit is coming out, he looked back like that. He said, forever, forever, I cannot get into him. I cannot get into her anymore. They will wonder. And you, you have been on crutches before for how many years now? And today, the Lord will work wonders in your life. And those crutches will vanish away in Jesus' name. And then, as you go back home, and you stand up straight, and you are walking straight, and you even run, you'll find people will say, is that him? Is that her? They say, no. It's like his twin brother, twin sister. you say, yes, it is me. What happened to you? What happened to you? You got eight wonders in your life in Jesus' name. W now is wonders of all round miracles. You turn this side, miracle. You move on here, miracle. You turn the other side, miracle. Anywhere you are in the arena, anywhere you are far away there, as we pray and mention the name of Jesus, wonders will come to you in Jesus' name. Look at Acts chapter 2. We're reading from verse 2. 22 acts chapter 2 reading from verse 22 ye men of israel hear these words jesus of nazareth a man approved of god among you by miracles and wonders and signs a man approved of god among you by miracles and wonders and signs a man approved of God among us tonight, Lord Jesus Christ, there will be miracles. <clears throat> there will be miracles. There will be wonders. There will be signs in Jesus' name, which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. We have already heard some testimonies and those testimonies and many more will be multiplied in your life look at verse 43 there verse 43 it tells us in verse 43 and fear came upon every soul and many wonders how many wonders many wonders i said what kind of wonders many wonders for the young for the old, for the educated, for the normal people, for the boys, for the girls, many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Christ did the wonders, and then he transferred the power to his own disciples, and everywhere they met, wonders took place. And everywhere, as we are meeting together, and we meet in the name of Jesus wonders that corner wonders in front of me here wonders far at the back when we mention the name of jesus there'll be wonders on this other side wonders in your life wonders of all round miracles the next word there is e exaltation from abject misery Exalt, exaltation from uh, abject misery let's look at first samuel chapter 2 
and I'm reading from verse 8. For Samuel chapter 2, we're reading from verse 8. See what the Lord will do for you tonight. I said, see what the Lord will do for you tonight. Are you the one I'm talking about? Remember, anywhere you are, any country you are, and you are online, here is miracle waiting for you. Exaltation from abject misery. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 8, He raiseth up the poor out of the dust, and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill, to set them among princes, and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He has power, he has wisdom, he has ability to set the whole globe on invisible pillars. And the globe is rotating, and yet nothing is shifting. The God who has the power and the wisdom and he has the ability to set the whole world upon those invisible pillars. That same God will lift you up today. Out of the dungeon, he'll lift you up. Out of your poverty, he'll lift you up. Out of your suffering, he'll lift you up. Out of your imprisonment, he will lift you up. If you have been lying down there and cockroaches are walking over you and reptiles are walking over you and all those, uh, you know, messengers of the devil, they trample over you, you are coming out of that situation. <laughs> Exaltation from abject misery. And now we have our, our is restoration. Somebody help me shout, restoration. Restoration to our almighty maker. The Lord will restore you. Your soul, your spirit, your life, every part of you, restoration tonight. And every good thing you have lost in life, restoration tonight. You are restored to the almighty maker, the one who created you. And he says, I know the plan I have for you. I know the good thing I have for you. And that good thing uh, that has eluded you, that has escaped you for a long time, uh, you are going to be restored to the blessings of God. Look at Joel chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 12. Uh, Joel chapter 2 verse 12. Therefore also now says the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart, with fasting, uh, and weeping and with mourning turn unto me he's saying look at the direction you have been going and you have lost valuable things in life you have lost your way and you have lost your inheritance you have lost the good things you should have had because of your own evil doing he says but Restoration can come tonight. Turning around can come tonight. If you will turn unto me with all your heart, you don't distribute yourself, your heart, a part to Satan, a part to the world, a part to religion, a part to tradition, but you gather up everything in your life, your whole heart, then you say, I come with all my heart, all my soul, and all my mind, and I return unto the Lord without any mind of going back to the devil, or going back to the world, or going back to your sin. It says, turn ye even to me with all your heart. And then he says in verse 13, in verse 13, he says, rend your heart and not your garments. Turn, look at that again, turn, see that, turn unto the Lord your God, 
for he is gracious and merciful. He's slow to anger and is of great kindness and repentance turns around from the evil, from the judgment he would have given you. Look at verse 25. In verse 25, and I will restore to you all the years that the locusts have eaten. He says, I will restore all the joy you have lost, all the health you have lost, all the goodness in life you have lost, all your family that you have lost, everything you have lost, it will restore unto you. And the food and the things you ought to have to keep soul and body together, it will restore everything unto you. And he said, I will. He said, this one is unstoppable. This blessing come upon your life it is unstoppable. I will restore to you not only the days and the weeks or the months, all the years that the locust has eaten. The canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. Look at verse 26. It says in verse 26, after he said, I will restore. And it will restore. Unto me, unto me, he will restore in Jesus' name. He's willing to do it. That's why he gave the promise. He loves to do that. That's why he gave the promise. And he's ready at this time to bring the restoration in your life. That's why he gave the promise and he said, I, the God of heaven, I that Satan cannot stop. I that for everyone, we're talking about the impartial God, we're talking about the incorruptible God, we're talking about a God that when he makes a promise, he will fulfill that promise in your life. And tonight, somebody help me shout, tonight, that's the night of restoration in your life. And it says, and ye shall eat in plenty. And be satisfied. 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 And praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you. He will deal wondrously with you. Whosoever, whosoever will come to the Lord tonight and say, Lord, I am a beneficiary. I am a partaker of the showers of blessing and i need full restoration and total restoration in my life and my people shall never be ashamed are you there my people shall never be ashamed are you part of those people my people shall never be ashamed amen Look at verse 32. Verse 32 there tells us, And it shall come to pass that whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Whosoever, that corner, whosoever, that place, whosoever, that outside congregation there, whosoever, that person online, as you call on the Lord tonight, deliverance will come. Restoration will come. Salvation will come. The mercy of God will come. A total transformation will come in your life in Jesus' name. Now, S, S is the supernatural supply. 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 It will flow into your life. All the needs of your life, spiritual, physical, all the needs of your life, emotional, all the needs of your life, everything you've been crying about, tonight is the night of fulfillment. The Lord will do it in your life in Jesus name supernatural supply from the acknowledged 
Messiah. He is the Messiah. That means he is the Christ. He is all in all for you, for me, and for everyone. In John chapter 4 verse 25. John chapter 4 verse 25. The woman saith unto him, I know that Messiah's cometh. I know that Messiah's coming. The Messiah was standing in front of her. But she didn't recognize many people like that. The Messiah, the Savior, the Healer, the Helper, the Deliverer is standing right in front of them. And they can't tell. And they, and they say, I know the Savior is coming. He's here. The healer is coming, is here. The helper is coming, is here. It is tonight. Your salvation, I said it's tonight. Your healing, I said it's tonight. Your redemption, I said it's tonight. Don't look any other place. Don't look for any other day. He is right here. The woman did not know that. The woman says unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, when he is come, you know, there's some people, they don't know salvation, Savior is here already. They say, well, we'll get it when we cross over to the other side. They say, nobody can know that he's saved now. Nobody can know that he's healed now. Nobody can know that he's delivered now. But at a future time, when we cross the gate of death and we pass on to the other side, then we will know that we are saved. My friend, it's right here. Salvation is right here. Deliverance is right here. Miracle is right here. She said, when he is come, he will tell us all things. When he is come, he will save us from all our sins. When he is come, he will heal us from all our sicknesses. When he is come, he will perform wonders in every life. Verse 26 in verse 26, Jesus saith unto her, I that speak unto thee, I am he. He has come. He is here. I that speak unto thee, I am the Savior. I am the healer. I am the deliverer. He is there, right there. And as you grieve yourself and offer yourself to him and now, salvation has come healing has come but you know the showers are going to begin to fall now i said the showers are going to begin to fall now salvation will be given to you right now healing will be yours right now you'll obtain the mercy of god right here tonight in jesus name then wonder can you can you think about that that you you in particular not another person you in particular wonders coming upon your life today and then it will exalt you it'll take you out of that veil and valley of crying of sorrow it'll bring you to the mountain top of the joy of the lord in jesus name restoration redemption total restoration in your life tonight in jesus name and uh, supernatural what supernatural what my God shall supply all your needs in Christ by Christ Jesus even tonight. Are you ready? Heaven is ready. Are you ready? God is ready. Are you ready? Your salvation is here available. Whosoever, whosoever, 
whosoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. Salvation is here now. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All, all have sinned, all have sinned. But anyone that wants the guilt taken away, the power of sin broken in their lives, this is the time, the hour of your salvation. Anyway, you are, as it's about, and I are close, just raise up your hand and say, I accept that tonight. The worst of sinners, I'm having salvation, I accept that tonight. The most terrible of sinners, the Lord says, He'll forgive me, I receive that tonight. Anywhere you are, raise up your hand, raise up your hand, wherever you are, salvation, forgiveness coming unto you, and the Lord will write your name in heaven as one of the people whose sins are totally forgiven. If you are raising up your hand, you will stand up. You will identify yourself. Salvation is mine. Salvation is mine. Over here in Port Harcourt, in all the other adjoining places, any hallway you are, any other place you are, you are standing up now. Salvation is mine and it is free. It's by the mercy of God. And any city you are in Nigeria, in any state, in any nation, in uh, Africa and beyond Africa, and you are online and you say, I want that salvation now. Christ is there by your side. If the omnipresent one, he will forgive you. Raise up your hand. And then remember, he says, turn unto me with all your heart. Turn to the Lord and say, Lord, I turn away from my sin. I turn away from idols. I turn away from tradition. I turn away from every other God. I turn away from every other religion. I turn to Christ, my Savior, my Redeemer, my Lord. And as you do that, say, I believe that Jesus died for me. I believe that Jesus rose again on my behalf. And because of that, all my sins without exception every, everything is forgiven whosoever shall call on the name of the lord immediately they call that's when you will do it salvation has come to you now amen i said salvation has come to you now amen keep up your hand and pray with you now father what a loving God you are. Lord Jesus, what a ready Savior you are. We thank you because this salvation, this forgiveness, this new life, this regeneration is for everyone that calls upon you. These have called upon you. And those online and those everywhere where we are connected together now, they've called upon you for forgiveness, for freedom, for salvation, for regeneration. Lord, I pray, according to your promise, which cannot fail, save everyone now in Jesus' name. Forgive all their sins. Write their names in the book of life in heaven. Let a new life, regenerated life, come upon everyone right now in Jesus' name. Restore your peace, your joy, your new life to everyone right now. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord has done it. He cannot fail. Anytime we ask, He always does as He has promised. Our counselors are there 
members of the choir, the ushers, and our leaders, workers, all those counselors are there. As we're doing it here, you are doing it in every location all over Nigeria, all over Africa, and beyond Africa. Let's get those names right now, and then after we finish that, I'll come back and I'll pray with you. Your healing is today. A pastor now, please come. Right now, our counselors are with you there. They write down your names, give them your full name, your address, your telephone number, so that we can visit you over and over. And by the grace of God, next Sunday, all throughout South South, we'll be having a, we'll be having a meeting with you in the nearest group of district or this uh, group by the grace of God. Please take all available information needed from them. By the grace of God, your sins are forgiven. The shower of salvation has come upon your life. You are now a new creature. You cannot remain in sin any longer. The power of sin is broken. You are totally set free. As we are doing that, the rest of us, get ready for your showers of miracles, showers of wonders, and showers of all you need in your life. Tonight is your night. Counsel us, in the overflow, in adult hall, adult auditoria, do the same thing as we are doing here now. In the youth hall, do the same thing we are doing here now. In the event center, not far away from here, do the same thing you are doing now. In the children auditoria, do the same thing we are doing now. As well as the campus overflow. Do the same thing here. We are doing now. Shards have come upon everyone already. And by the grace of God, the shards of healing is coming right now. Start saying bye-bye to your sickness. The sicknesses you brought here, you will see them no more. The lame will not see their lameness any longer. They will all be drowned. They will all be totally removed tonight. Tonight is your night. You will look for those problems. Satan will look for them. He will not see them. You will not see them. You are free. Get ready. Just be praying now. And be saying bye-bye to whatsoever problem you came with. Blindness is going right now. As a, as, a, a, as a prophet comes, as the apostle of this very generation comes, your trouble is going. Lameness will go away. Get ready. Counsel us. Let's do it fastly. The moment you finish, you let us know. So that the second aspect of shards of blessing will start falling. Get ready. Those in the overflow, you let us know also when you are true. Next Sunday, we'll be having our banqueting with all our converse. Those on online, the same thing by 4 o'clock, we'll be having it. They, they tell you when you are having it in the various zone all over the world you will be told where you where you will be having it there shall be showers of blessing tonight you will testify who is going to testify tonight i can see your hands showers of blessings upon you showers of blessing upon me upon you upon your family, 
upon your career, upon your education. Get ready. The clouds are gathered already. The rains are coming. Get ready. You will be wet with miracles of healing. You will be wet with miracles of deliverances. Tonight, creative miracles. God is going to do it for you. God is going to do it for me. Get ready, counselors. If you are finished, you move towards the back to submit what you have to your supervisor. Letting us know that now you are true. Shouts of blessing. It has started raining. You are getting wet already. Wet with salvation, freedom from sin. You are going to get wet with deliverances. Every property of the devil will vanish from your life. Every touch of the enemy upon your brain, upon any organ of your body, will get vanished. We go away. After today, no more dialysis. Your kidney will be whole. After today, after tonight, just a few minutes now, you will discover your enlarged heart is totally normalized. Shouts of blessing for you. Get ready. The clouds have gathered already. The rains are falling. Get ready. Your blessing is right coming upon you now. Counsel us. If you are finished, go towards your supervisor. Submit the decision card. Decision slip. Then the counselor should let me know by waving your hands at me that right now you are finished. The power of God is coming. The touch of God is coming. Remember divine connection, signs and wonders, divine touch, divine solution. All put together, shouts of blessing upon you. It's coming upon you. I congratulate you. Tonight is your night. Tonight is my night. Tell yourself, tonight is my night. Tell the person next to you, tonight is your night. Tonight. 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 Get ready. Remember, not of merit, but the mercy of God. His mercy is flowing. It will come upon you. Counsel us, are you true? Counsel us. True? Okay. Those in the outflow, are you true? Now, cancel us. You get seated, or ra rather, rise up together with others. As our pastor, the apostle, the prophet is coming now to bring down the shouts of blessing on you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. You are expecting your shower of miracle wonders healing, deliverance. I said, praise the Lord. Healing. Somebody shout, healing. Remember, Christ Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Right there where you are, those blind eyes will open. If you brought anybody deaf and dumb, then you touch them, their ear. After the final amen, check up on them. 
the deaf ear will have opened and the dumb tongue will speak out if you have any tumor uh, near something that is swollen uh, in your body once we mention the name of jesus immediately that swelling uh, must vanish away kidney problem healed ulcer will be healed cancer will be healed any pain destroy your body that pain will vanish away mental problem will be healed so anything you want salvation full salvation healing definite healing and health you want to obtain an open door that one is coming wonders coming exaltation coming restoration coming any part of your body that has been lost the spare part in heaven and that spare part will be supplied you have restoration of that missing part in jesus name supernatural i said supernatural it's coming upon you right there right now after the final amen there's no doubt about it the work would have been done you check up yourself and you will see that miracle is there just close your eyes lay one hand where you have the problem and raise up the other hand if you can miracle healing deliverance are you ready heaven is ready for you father in jesus name we well, thank you and glorify your name you are the god that cannot fail the god that promised showers of blessing and in that shower we have healing we have deliverance we have restoration we have the supernatural power coming from heaven upon everyone i pronounce your healing upon everyone right now in jesus name i pray lord where there is sickness any form of sickness any kind of sickness bring healing right now in jesus name and those who have been suffering i pray you take them away from that dungeon and that pit of suffering and bring them to the mountain top of health and total miracle in jesus name you are the god that cannot fail and we pray that your unfailing power will come to everyone right now touch them and transform everyone from the top of the head to the tip of the toe in jesus name by your stripes were healed on my right hand healed in front of me healed on the left hand healed and all those places in those halls healed in jesus name make the impossible possible move every mountain of sickness every mountain of infirmity away from every life in jesus name that mental problem that insanity that uh, madness i command you come out in jesus name i pray for that swelling any part of the body i command the swelling i command the tumor i command the hernia come out in jesus name i pray for those who have incurable diseases i pray lord that right now that cancer be healed in jesus name also be healed in jesus name every internal problem internal sickness internal pain be removed in jesus name skin disease be cured right now in jesus name leprosy be healed right now in jesus name 
I pray, Lord, everything your people are expecting, asking from you, answer their prayers now. Let there be total healing. Let there be wonders. Let there be miracle upon every life in Jesus' name. From the top of the head to the tip of the toe, I pray that your healing virtue will come upon them. Everywhere. Here. All over the country. In all the various nations. Those online everywhere. Power to confront their problems. Rule all the problems away in Jesus' name. Set them free. Manifest their healing. Perform the miracle. Let everyone know it and see it and feel it in their body right now. Thank you, Lord, because I know it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done. It is done. Check up yourself. You'll see. You'll hear. And you have a testimony already. Let me hear a good amen.